Here is the Mitsuko 4 inch quad as it was when I raced it around the track a 4S 1000 mAh battery underneath and I need to check the weight of it for comparison's sake it comes in at 356 to 357 grams since I never built Mitsuko to carry a HD camera I was relying on capturing good quality DVR footage to show you so I reached into my bag of tricks and grabbed this VAS antenna now when I was flying level everything was fine the antenna was straight up and down but when I pitched forward which was most of the time due to the excellent agility of this quad you tend to fly with a very steep pitch angle the antenna wasn't pointing in the optimum direction of straight up and down. These antennas have a dead spot in the top of them and underneath where the signal doesn't emanate very well, so it had a negative effect on the footage that I captured. And taking a look at the DVR footage from the figure 8 farmyard racetrack that we set up to test these 4 inch quads, the Mitsuko only recording on DVR which unfortunately picked up a lot of glitches like that which I didn't see in my goggles but when my battery went flat in the goggles I did only see black during that particular crash anyway uh, there were some hash lines uh, a lot of what was possibly foreign interference or the poor antenna position but ultimately I was able to knock over sub 16 second laps quite easily with this quad compared to the 17 and a half 18 seconds of the QAV 180 so a one and a half, two second advantage, but for the cost of not being able to carry a HD camera, that might be a downside for some people, only having DVR footage to show for your exploits. Anyway, a quad that uh, definitely performed well on a racetrack. Now this is a much cheaper antenna, it's also a lot lighter. It doesn't hold up as well in crashes, I, I can definitely uh, account for that. But it has uh, flexibility, that means that as you pitch forward and pick up speed, the wind grabs it and tends to pull it back to a more vertical position, giving better video performance. So I did some tests across the road in the park and I achieved much better results with this antenna. And here's some footage captured in the park across the road. It's a different environment to the farmyard, which may have uh, some impact on it. But as you can see, the footage quality here is a lot better. And re regardless of which direction I was heading, I was always able to get a good clean signal. And here's another alternative, the AMWAY type antenna that has a flexible shaft that can be bent into shape and it will hold that. Uh, here it is bent slightly and when I'm flying level or sitting flat it's not going to be ideal but as soon as I get up and fly forward and get some angle on it it will move into the optimum position and I should get a nice clear signal. Mitsuko had its biggest crash during the tuning stage where it came down very hard on its head and busted the camera and bracket assembly from the main body. But as it turns out, it had just uh, popped out from around the retaining nuts and uh, a little bit of Loctite and five minutes and it was back on and ready to go with no noticeable damage. The leading arm tended to cop the uh, abuse and the damage from the crashes around the racetrack. It seemed to chip and delaminate the carbon fibre just around the motor there. It's not structural at this point and uh, considering the type of material we were racing on uh, I think it's acceptable outcome. And the only other damage is so minor it's barely worth mentioning. A uh, broken cable tie for the antenna meant I had to do some running repairs on the day. And to make my final point regarding Mitsuko I need to pull out the QAV 180. So when the QAV 180 needs to perform a left roll these two motors on the right will speed up and the two motors on the left will slow down and the quad will roll left when the quad needs to pitch forward the two motors on the front will slow down and the two motors on the rear will speed up and the quad will pitch forward 
Effectively, all four motors are participating in any pitch or roll motion. Whereas the Mitsuko here only has two motors partaking in any single roll or pitch movement. So a roll to the left would require this right motor to speed up and this left motor to slow down, but the green propped rear and front motors there have no effect on roll. So effectively it only has two motors working towards the desired outcome. Now they are mounted a little bit further out from the frame, giving them a little bit more leverage, but I still would have expected this quad to be a somewhat inefficient design, being a plus style. But how wrong I was, this quad performs extremely well and I think it handles better than the QAV180. I wouldn't hesitate to pick it up to race with it. In fact, I expect it will replace one of the four Kriegers in the race fleet I have. So thank you very much for watching this uh, session and if you like the information that I've provided you, please don't hesitate to subscribe.